Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to what I call the 911 Mega Tutorial. This uh, tutorial here or this video will show you every uh, every aspect or every of those questions that you always ask me on the videos on my uh, EM4 Let's Play series. Um, be that how to edit the camera hack or how to get the camera hack to work, how to get HD to work, how to add a mod. Uh, be that a zip file or be that with the uh, mod installer. Um, either way, I'm going to show you guys how that is done. And uh, on the video, if you are watching this on mobile devices, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but uh, you're going to see in the description as well as here now in about five seconds on the overlay. Um, it's going to show you shortcuts to the different uh, chapters of the video. So if you are only here for a certain, uh, a certain tutorial, certain tip, then jump there now and I will see you on the other side. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So here on the first part of this tutorial, we're going to look at how to install a mod. Um, well, how to find the mod, I guess, is the one, one of the basic things, really basic things, that seems to be always a problem. And I personally go for all my modding needs too. So I just type in West Coast Canadian, as seen here, and I hit search. And then I have here all my uh, mods coming up. And then here, for example, released West Coast Canadian version 2.0. And then we have here the download links, the mega link, and the Corona and audio fix. And the Corona fix is actually what I will show you guys as well. So, but this will be a later part of the video. We don't worry about that for now. But this is how I find most of them. If I don't find them there, I find my um, mods usually over Facebook just by, as you can see here, um, I know the Boston mod, for example, I found this way. The Manhattan mod you can find this way. So Facebook is another very viable so source for your modding needs. And uh, if in doubt, you can always ask the guys on the forum here. They are very helpful. Now, of course, if you ask a question that was 20,000 times asked before, then they might get a little bit uh, raw with you because, uh, well, it gets a little bit old. Uh, just use the search button. It's really not that hard. And uh, if you are really want this mod, then that's not too much to ask. So let's get into the next part of this tutorial. And what we want to do next here is... Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get your game to look uh, or to go into HD resolution as it is by uh, default only uh, 1024, I do believe, or 720p. So to get to 1080, you want to go to your Steam and there to Steam apps common 911 first responders and then you want to open your em4 config now i always use uh as you can see i always use my notepad plus plus it's a free program link is in the show notes below show notes below i'm not frugal hmm Anyways, sorry, Pete. Um, <laughs> I just watched one of his videos. I guess that kind of um, got me here. So what you want to look for here once you are in the EM4 config, and that again shows you guys that this is actually the game is Emergency 4 that never changed, but uh, they had just released it under a different name. So what you want to search for is these two here, a uh, variable name, X resolution and Y resolution and what you want to put in here as I already did is a 1920 by 1080. Once you have this you will be uh, able to watch this in HD quality and you don't have to worry about uh, low res textures or low resolution on your screen anymore. Um, and since we are right now in the config anyway we can go right back up here and uh, in the next part here, I'm going to show you how to uh, 
change the zoom as well as the pitch. So now that we are here in the um, EM4 config, we are gonna look at the max cam pitch, max cam zoom, min cam pitch and min cam zoom. And this is what makes me able to zoom so crazily in or so crazy in and uh, out as you guys always wonder how I do this. Um, now the cam pitch is how far you can uh, turn the camera and this is a value which you want to be a little bit careful with because if you change this too much you end up with the same problem that I usually have. You turn the camera too much and it will actually end you up to boot you. Uh, it will clip a collision and uh, then the safe uh, recover option will automatically boot you in the middle of the map. Now here the max cam zoom is what you want to change. Um, I use 6000 and uh, for the min cam zoom 10. Um, that obviously is up to you or whatever you like. You can play around with those values um, just with the min cam pitch and the max cam pitch. Um, what I should say is, and I forgot to mention that before, uh, you want to make sure that these files are not set to write only as well as notepad um, has to run in administrator mode or um, if you have your UAC disabled. But uh, if you don't know what the UAC is um, and disabling it, then either Google it or don't even worry about it because this goes to a point where you make your or can make your computer very vul uh, vulnerable if you don't know what you are doing. So as uh, usually I do not take any responsibility if you do it and something bad happens um, because quite frankly, if you don't know what you're doing on that one, just leave it alone and uh, just go and uh, run the program. You just right click on the icon and you go run as administrator and uh, all is good. Or you can even set that as a general rule on the compatibility. You run it always as an administrator. And uh, if you can't do this, then you don't even have those uh, permissions on your PC. You have to ask your computer administrator to do this for you, be this your dad, your older brother, or whatever the case may be. So uh, with the min cam or with the camera zoom and the uh, resolution being out of the way, we are now getting into installing a mod from a zip file. So as you can see guys, I downloaded the mod here, um, the Mayberry mod 1.5 and you can see here as uh, I have all these uh, different files within the mod folder. When I have a folder like this, the zip, and I have all these uh, audio emitters, language maps, models, prototypes, etc, etc, then I know automatically that this goes right into my mods folder found under program file 68 steam steam apps common 911 first responders and there is the mods folder as you can see i have already los angeles mod 2.1 and the west coast canadian modification installed so what i can do now is you can do it two ways one way is you just go ahead and unzip or you move the zip into here and unzip it right into this directory um, what I usually do, just I don't know why, but it's just the way I do it, is uh, I make my Mayberry. And since I know I'm going to patch it, I make that 1.5.1. And then I'm going to take all this and I put it into the Mayberry 1.5.1 folder. Takes a moment, as you can see. Oops, those are the LA mod vehicles. I'm gonna show you guys later. So once this is done here, once that is at 100%, then the mod is basically installed. What we wanna do now is uh, we wanna download the patch, the 1.5.1 uh, patch and install that the same way. You open the zip file and uh, I'm gonna show you how that's done in just a second. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to install a patch if there's ever one uh, for the mod of your choice. And uh, what I did was I downloaded the 1.5.1 patch. And uh, then when you open that, you will be 
um, you will see this. And then of course, here's the readme text. I always suggest to you guys that you do read the readme um, to make sure you know what you're doing. I, however, did this whole stuff so many times that I don't really need to worry about the readme anymore at this point. So I'm just gonna take what I need to and put it into my Mayberry folder, which will then tell me uh, move and replace, do this for all current items, yes, as well as here, we do the same thing. And uh, with that, my mod is now patched to Mayberry 1.5.1. And I will show you guys um, that the mod is actually loaded. So you can see here Mayberry mod version 1.5.1. It is loaded, but I will show you guys that the mod actually works. So, and as you guys can see here, we are now in the Mayberry 1.5.1. And I can... So, here you see it. And here you can see also the max cam zoom. A max cam of 0.10 is pretty close, as you can see. This is as close as you can get, possibly. And... Uh, but I think this is a good zoom and uh, the pitch, as you've seen uh, in the video, works pretty good as well. So, and this is the max zoom out, which is more than enough, I think. <clears throat> so with that, we are going back to Windows and next part of this tutorial is going to be how to install the mod with a mod file. All right, so we are back here and uh, now I can show you how to install an uh, emergency for mod file. As you can see here, I just downloaded the Frankfurt modification just because Frankfurt is very close to my heart. And uh, I uh, unpack it to my desktop from the, uh, from the zip folder or from the raw folder. And then, as you can see here, my computer has no idea what to do with it yet. We're going to change this in a second. We're going to go to open, select the program from a list of installed programs, browse for it, and then you want to go to again to your program files. Not vanilla, that was dumb. Steam, Steam apps common 911 first responders and then we have here the 911 first mod installer and we want to use that one and you want to make sure that always use the selected program to open this kind of file you're going to go to okay and uh, then it will ask you this will install the modification from package blah 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 to the mod folder and you say yes and as you can see here um your mod installer will automatically recognize the emod files that are already installed, which is the Los Angeles mod and the Mayberry mod that I have already installed. Now the West Coast uh, modification, the West Coast Canadian, does not have the emod file, so it will not show up there. But now we have our Frankfurt Mine mod installed, and uh, I will see you guys back for the next part of this tutorial, and that is. Um, how to get rid of the white boxes on my light. So welcome back guys. And now next part of our tutorial here to how to get rid of the dreaded light bug or the dreaded uh, missing coronas bug, which uh, makes that your lights, your beautiful uh, lights will just have white flashing boxes and how to get rid of those is pretty easy. Now there's a couple of mods that come right with the patch. Um, and here the West Coast Canadian is one of them. The 1.1 one, one patch came with the Corona fix. So I'm going to show you just how to install that fix. And uh, I'm going to tell you also about uh, two differences or two different ways to install it. Um, one way, and I don't know why you would even do that, but uh, one way to install them is to go into the mod folder and uh, go in here go into textures where you can see here is all the coronas and you could just go and copy all the coronas into the texture folder but why would you do that when there is a way better way um you just go here 
into Steam, Steam Apps Common, 911 First Responders, Data, and in there you go into Textures. You have the Coronas folder here, so you're gonna just take it, drop it over, yes, do this, move and replace. And the reason that it moved and replaced them was because I already have the Corona fix obviously installed. But this is as easy as the Coronas are fixed. You just drop it in your Coronas folder and you are done. No more white boxes forever. All right, so now we are back here for the last part of this tutorial or of the mega tutorial, and that is how to change certain options or certain uh, parameters in your uh, free place params endless file. Uh, or even in the challenge file if you want. And uh, how you do this is you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, 911, First Responders, Mods, Los Angeles Mod, in my case, whatever the mod is that you wanna, um, that you wanna change, you wanna uh, take that one. And in that case, I wanna go into the Los Angeles Mod, you go into Specs, and you want to change uh, when you want, if you want to change the normal free play, you want to go into free play parents and endless. And then you have here, you have the events. Um, for example, here, event fall enabled value one. This value is uh, whether you want that event or not. So, for example, I'm really, 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 really tired of demonstrations. So I just go and set this to volume zero, save this, and now I will never see a demonstration again in this game whatsoever. And here you can see also, um, you can see, um, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you can see a couple of, uh, of values here, I'm not gonna go into each and uh, single one of them. There are tutorials for that, and if you guys want a tutorial where I go into each and every single of those uh, values, then let me know in the uh, comments, and I will certainly do so. But uh, <clears throat> what I want to show you guys is the average frequency volume uh, or value, and uh, that is, for example, here, civil car defect uh, is on 2.0. You can change that, and here you can see average frequency is the average number of events per 10 minutes. So two is on average there will be two uh, events of this per 10 minutes. So if you put that number higher, there will be more of those. If you put that number lower, then there uh, will be less. And then here, of course, average time till explode. Um, you want to set that low or high, depending on if you want it a little bit more challenging or not. But uh, this will be all I say to that. Uh, again, guys, if you have more questions, if something was not clear, then let me know. And uh, I can make another tutorial where I go more in depth of changing the uh, params, uh, the, the parameters of those challenges or of those missions. But for now, I think that should cover pretty much everything that you guys ask me usually. And I hope it helped you guys. If it did, then please hit that like button. Feel free to share this uh, with your friends. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the content that I'm creating. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Have a great day and God bless you.